GG Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of my Let's Play Submerged series. I'm Chris from the Gals Geeks, and let's just give a little recap of what happened in episode 3. So, we discovered that Taku's wound was caused by his father who accidentally stabbed him in a fit of drunken rage. And he and Miku here rode off into the storm to escape him. We also picked up some... Uh, bug spray to keep the flies away from him and some antiseptic to clean out his wound and now Miku is looking for something to stitch up his wound. Unfortunately as you can see here the infection that she picked up in last episode is progressing and perfectly honest I don't think she should be operating on Taku but uh, you know needs must. We're also picking up more of those humanoid mutants who just Stand and watches from the rooftops, and I think it's over that way. Uh, they're not getting any less creepy, but uh, they certainly don't seem to be interloping in any way. I do have to apologise for the last video where there was uh, very little sound from the game. Um, shows you the kind of slick operation that we're running here. Um, and if there's a lesson to be learned from this, it's always do a full sound check. But enough about last episode. Let's get on with this episode. So, we scouted out a couple of uh, supply packages just over there in the west. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to head for the northwestern one first because uh, I might have to shift that cursor out of the way. Um, yes, uh, the northwestern uh, package looks more likely just because it has more dots there. I'm sure the southern one has just as many uh, little story pickups, but. Uh, you know, we can be sure that there's uh, something up there, and just again displaying my atrocious piloting abilities. Right, I think this is north. Just check that. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we passed by that radio tower before, but. It didn't seem to be a landmark and you couldn't climb up it at all. Which is a shame, because I like climbing up high bits in this game. There's a passage through there, where we can navigate it. Without smacking into the walls. Right, whereabouts are we? Okay, sure. Be directly west from here. I think it's probably yeah, that building over there. Oh, it is a landmark. Interesting. The way to the sky. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's just have another circle round and see if there's actually a way to get up on it. Could be wrong, but you never know until you try. No, I'm not seeing any of the uh, red flowers that usually indicate a docking point. Oh, on we go. Yeah, it's probably this factory building here, isn't it? Which appears to be... Something steel? Cantrek steel? Oh, uh, another thing I forgot to mention from last week. We discovered a little bit more about the um, story of the city. And uh, a little bit more mystery was unwrapped, as it seems that the storm stirred up something lying at the bottom of the ocean, and that uh, seems to be causing all this green mold infestation. So I'm curious to find out more about that. Castrif steel? Is that what it says? Again, I'm going to have to point out that my television is way across the room, and the font is tiny. 
All right. It's getting a bit twilighty. But at least we have nice soothing music. I think that's a dolphin. Oh no, that's the whale. Hello, whale. saw because of that glint there. Mm, down this way. Nope, gonna have to drop down. Right. Now, there are definitely more and more uh, one-way drops uh, cropping up. So I'm going to probably take this a little bit more carefully than I have been doing. Uh, I mean, in all fairness to the designers, um, by and large, we've always had um, our path pretty clear uh, back to the way we were before, um, or any kind of one-way drops were actually a, a loop back to the point that you diverged from. Which is actually really nice, because um, although I am being a bit more careful, it does give me a sort of more of a sense of security, while still being a little bit weary. Which does allow me to kind of focus more on enjoying the exploration than having to worry too much about whether or not I'm going to have to spend ages to get back to where I was. Crows. Bye, crows. You know, the crows don't seem all that mutated. There we go. There's some story there. I was actually beginning to wonder where uh, where they'd been hidden away. It really does look like a monster reaching up from the sea, doesn't it? So, yep, we can see there. Lightning striking the... Primordial ooze at the, big the bottom of the ocean? I'm sure we'll find out. Right, that's some story. Uh, there's a way up there. I think that's probably too high for us to get up, isn't it? Uh, what about this ledge here? That's not a ledge. Right, um... Hmm. Okay. Uh, wait, did we go up this way? Oh no, we came up the ladder, didn't we? Yep, I have the memory span of goldfish. buzzing around here. As always, we're going to be keeping an eye out for the standard uh, haunting mutant. That's a nice little vista out to the right hand side of the picture there. Skyscrapers looming in out of the cloud and the fog. Okay, there's a pipe there, but first we're going to nip around here. Because I think there might be some story. But there certainly are fireflies. Uh, oh, there's a ladder down that way. Let's take a chance. And have we look. Yeah, I'm still not terribly convinced that sliding down ladders in your bare hands and feet is really all that good for you. It's that monster again. I assume it's a monster. I'm a human. I fear and distrust anything I don't comprehend. 
Therefore, it's a monster. I could bring that bug spray with me so I can get rid of all the buzzing flies. Is it not just one of the most annoying sounds on her? Okay. I'm really hoping that you guys can't hear the um, bin lorry that's just pulled up outside the house. I do apologise if you can. Right. Let's look across here and no, I don't think we can climb on that sign, can we? Maybe we need to go down. Yep, yeah, we'll shoot me along here. Uh, I think we'll need to climb back up here. Yep. That's a nice alternate angle. Ah, uh, no, get back up there. Yeah, if you're wondering why Miku keeps on climbing down things a lot, it's largely because, uh, for some reason, uh, my thumb just drifts down on the left analog pad. Oh, no, we can't get there, can we? No, we're going to have to go up. I'm going to defend myself by calling it Lazy Thumb. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing. It's clearly a monster about to attack everyone, isn't it? It's the, I mean, I'm trying to be impartial and even-handed. No, it is just some sort of creature from the sea. And not like waves of green water as I thought it might be. Here we go. Managed to perfectly navigate either side of that ladder. Actually, while we're up here, let's do some scouting. Yeah, let's have a look northwest. I'm sure it'll be something. Yeah, pay dirt. Well, pay dust. Hooray, another boat boost that we never friggin' use. It would have been nicer if they were like different collectibles rather than just um, bolt boosts. Because I'm just. I'm terrible enough at handling the. the bolts as it is at low speeds. I'm not going to do any much better at. Ooh, that looks like another package. Yeah, I'm not going to do any much better um, at high speed. Unless there's going to be some like surprise combat segment at the end or something. Which I hope not, because uh, I, I quite like the fact that this is uh, a non-violent game. Don't get me wrong, I am no stranger to violence in video games. It's just nice for a change of pace. Okay. That right there. This is the supply crate we're looking for. I'm just going to wait for it to make the beeping sound. Is it? Yeah, you can hear that beep in the background. This is largely because last last episode I said, yes, listen to this beep that uh, sounds like the uh, HEV suit from Half-Life 2. And then there was no sound. Just thought I'd give you another chance to hear that. I don't think there's going to be anything else around here. Um, might just do a scout on this side. Ooh, there's lots of trees in the way. Is that a... F Is that a palm tree or a fir tree or something? No, it's a palm. For some reason, it looked like it had needles instead of fronds. Hang on a minute. There's something glinting over there. But unfortunately, we're too far away for it to be marked on our map, which is a shame. Mm, I think we're probably already. I 
if there is anything in that building. We'll probably already skip it. Oh no, Atlas Island. No, that was the place we were last week. And from which we started this building. So there's probably very little in that direction, if I'm honest. I still don't think you should be doing this kind of surgery with your kind of infection, Miku. Hi guys! Gonna come around for tea. It's the worst neighbours. Just always looking in your window. Never actually talking to you. I don't know about you, but I was genuinely waiting for Miku to just kind of keel over there. Is her mouth turning blue as well? That can't be good. Okay, so they made it through the storm. And found the city. I mean, that is pretty much... Oh, holy crap. Uh... Oh, that was so creepy. It's all a dream. I need to stop Taku's infection. Well, yeah, do you deal your own as well, maybe? Oh, that. I hate it when things like do that reachy out towards the camera thing. It's like, um... Did you ever watch Jose Chung's From Outer Space? That episode of the X-Files. Yeah, that. I do not like it when aliens or mutants do that to the camera. I'm now less certain of their benign intentions, if I'm perfectly honest. You know what? Let's just abandon Taco here. It's, yeah, we've done all we can. It's up to you now. There's a landing point here. Have we actually been here? Probably. Or maybe not. I'm not convinced we have. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Ah, we have not been here. That's a singular piece of story. Grab that. There's the skyscrapers. So, yeah, right at the beginning. So, just a picture of the city being the city. Okay, back on board. Right. So we need to head. Is that so so west? I'm not particularly nautical. <laughs> Dolphins. Now, are you going to, like, go off and find some other normal dolphins and then, like, accost them while they're sleeping? I'm sure I saw something move there. Probably just the shadows. Yay! I like dolphins. Okay, we're pretty much... Of course. You know what, though? We are actually still missing a couple of creatures. And now I have this distinct feeling that at number eight we're going to see that thing. You know, the creature from the bottom of the ocean. But number three is presumably something relatively benign. Well, it's between mutant haddock and a mutant manta ray, so... It's mutant shrimp. So it's not what I 
box of food to check my position. Yeah, this way. I think it's that turret there. Is that the moon reflecting on the... It is the moon. That's quite cool. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm just going to I spot shiny there. Then we've already spotted. You know what? Let's just get on with it. Just moor up and start climbing. What is this place? Eclipsed State. It looks really sinister in the moonlight with that <laughs> avenging or judgmental angel right on top of it. Hi, Will. Story. So again, the skyscrapers are merging, covered in the green stuff. I don't know, it's, it, it, although the green creature or whatever that is is enveloping the city, it does look like it's just kind of. It's not attacking the city, it's just reproducing by spores and whatnot. Oh, oh, we're going upwards. In fairness, though, the, I, I think this clearly indicates I just should not be trusted in an apocalypse. No, no, let the aliens have whatever they want. It's just a part of their natural biological function. And up again. You know what? I didn't actually see the mutant in the last building, so... Maybe I'm not uh, looking as carefully as I should be. Maybe that's what's angry. Yeah, there you are. There you are. I spotted you. Go on, walk away now. Like you always do. I like that kind of little swing force camera angle that allows the mutant to disappear. You devious bastards. Ooh, the story down there. Totally going for that. I still think that it is the mutants who are leaving these story uh, snippets around. I mean, who else could it be? No, we want to go along the way. I have absolutely no ability to hold the analog stick like perfectly horizontal. Ooh, that's interesting. So it kind of definitely confirms that the, um, so if you look down here, there's like people with a little dog, and um, yeah, people have mutated, and so has the dog, which we haven't seen yet. Maybe that'll be entry number three between mutant mackerel and plant terrain. Spot something doing the doggy paddle in the water. You don't know what it is. Oh, ah, I can't get up there. So I'm gonna have to drop down. Yeah. I mean, Miku's fingertips must be stronger than Arnie. Like each individual one, capable of dropping Scoy off a cliff and flipping the car back on its side. All you kids who have no idea what I'm talking about, go on to Netflix and check out a film called Commando. You will not be disappointed. I mean, you will, but you won't. Go and watch it. It's a classic. Right, moving along. I wonder if this game is moddable. We could mod Arnie in here. And every one of the mutant humanoids would be Bennett. Oh, God! They're getting closer. And just leaping off buildings. Into the water below? Don't worry, Miko will soon be one of them and immune to any of their attacks, I'm sure. 
This is definitely getting some kind of creepy horror vibes, though. Just before I go down there, I want to check and see if there's anything back here. I don't think there is. I think that corridor was basically designed to force me to look at uh, one of the plant men. That's the window. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is well, isn't it? Yep. Again, similarly with the difficulty of each skyscraper, I'm not 100% sure if the um, the plant man appearances are pre-scripted or if they're dynamic. Uh, I mean, well, I think they will be pre-scripted, but I don't know if they're selecting like a different kind of level of intensity of plant man encounter um, the further you go through the game. Because certainly the skyscrapers seem to be getting more and more uh, tricky to navigate as we proceed through the game. But I don't know if that's just because uh, I've exhausted the ones nearby and have to go further out to find them, or if they genuinely are just getting uh, trickier. Uh, I should be able to. Yep, shift here and here. And up. Uh, I can't go around that way. That's. Angel statue there. Sudden camera snap because the angel head got in the way. Oops, sorry there. I'm, I'm kind of getting used to the sudden uh, cinematic camera angles now. Uh, I know I kind of complained about them a couple of times uh, right at the start. It's quite great. But um, they are generally pretty well designed so that they're showing you something beautiful, or they're showing you something useful. Okay, so I'm looking forward to items 49 through 51, because I'm sure that'll show us some interesting uh, mutation cycles. So it does look like they're still like a sociable species, even after being mutated into plant things. And stalking and scaring the hell out of young girls. There are so many inappropriate jokes we could make at this point, but we're not going to because we're classier than that. Uh, antibiotics? Let's hope they're not rendered useless. Yeah, you just stay over there. You just stay over there, mate. There's a line, right? And it, like, it's like right out there and you can't cross that. Oh, she is just not looking well at all, is she? Poor Miku. So that's them at the beginning of the game arriving in. I think that represents uh, Miku crying, little droplets. Oh, thank god, no creepy plant man. What's next? I need something to get Taku's strength back. He's already got food. Anyway, that'll have to wait until next episode, so thanks again for uh, checking in with episode 4 of Let's Play Submerged. Um, hope you're enjoying it, and if you've uh, got anything to say, uh, give us a shout in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like or subscribe to us. Uh, we'd be very happy to receive your custom. In the meantime, I've been Chris for the Gals Geeks, and this has been episode 4 of Let's Play Submerged. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, bye. GG.